Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game spotlight. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Tossed Salad the Game. In Tossed Salad the Game, you're basically playing a game of salad bowl, but even more raunchier. In fact, everything inside this Tossed Salad game is going to have stuff that involves urban dictionary terms, like a rusty trombone or a DEP, things that uh, don't necessarily sound bad on the surface, but probably are a little raunchy. This game's definitely for ages 18 and up, and you can play with pretty much any amount of players that you want. In the game Tossed Salad, you're basically taking this bowl here, opening it up, and inside of which is going to be a bunch of pieces of paper that are all folded up with a specific word or phrase on those papers. Now you cannot say the word or phrase or anything that has to do with that word, um, or like a synonym or whatever, of that word. So if it was uh, Tossed Salad, for instance, if that was the word in here, you wouldn't be able to say the word Tossed or Salad, but you can say anything else to try to get your opponent to guess that specific word or phrase. Some of these inside here are very complex and have certain things that I didn't even know existed. If you look up on Urban Dictionary, most of the things in here is where you'll find the definitions for them, and usually they're sexually charged in some way or another. This game is definitely one of those games you'd probably play with an adult type group, and I don't suggest anybody under the age of 18 playing this game for that. Um, and basically, there's not a whole lot to show you, really. The game's gonna be basically a, in this little salad bowl type thing. There's additional pieces of paper in there where you can write your own unique words or phrases, and however you wanna do it, uh, for you creative types out there. And for the rest, there's about 165 different phrases or words in here that you can go through. You'll just be picking them up, trying to get people to guess them, and dropping them down, gaining points as you continue throughout the game. People are gonna switch in turn order, and the person with the most amount of points after you guys have decided to stop playing after everyone has an equal amount of turns is the winner but really it's more about the experience now what's interesting to me is I've played celebrity and salad bowl and these type of things uh, there's a lot of games similar to this one right and I always go oh, I don't really like those games I don't really like playing those games but every single time I sit there and start playing them with people I always have a good time and why is that well because I enjoy charades I like these word guessing games and it always brings back to the full circle for me playing these games over and over again works especially with new people. I wouldn't want to play the same game, but this game specifically more than maybe four or five times with the same group of people because eventually you're going to hear the words over and over again, but it's always interesting and unique to play with multiple different types of people. The game Toss Salad is basically a rendition of celebrity and the like, but it's raunchier and involves some phrases and terminology you've probably never heard before. That being said, you can also avoid using the nastiness of the words or phrases by simply trying to make people guess the, uh, the actual words. So like rusty isn't necessarily a bad word, and neither is trombone. So for instance, I could say something like, oh, uh, it's what happens after water gets on a certain thing after a certain period of time, usually metal, it's something, something similar to corroding it, and then you go, oh, it's rusty, and then I'd say, it's an instrument, it, it, you know, it, it's metal, blah, 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 and then they go, oh, rusty trombone. So you can, you can go that way if you want. Overall, Toss Salad is a fun game. All of these type of games I really do enjoy playing, but it's going to be a game that you're probably going to want to play with people that are more dirty minded. It's a drinking game, it's something you're not going to sit there and play in between thicker strategy games is definitely not a thick strategy game in and of itself and it's not something I would recommend for children. That being said though there's definitely a place and a crowd for this type of game and uh, people who like Cards Against Humanity, people who like um, Secret Hitler, those, those type of games are a little more uh, risque, a little more adult humor style, it's gonna appeal to those people. It's one of those games where on drinking nights where we have like buddies come over here and they all have, uh, they all partake in the, uh, the alcoholic beverages. This is a game I'd pull out for them because I know they'd have a good time playing it. Uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, couples and all the like, getting into teams because you can make it a team game. It can not hold a lot of weight in those party situations and it's very easy to play for people who are under the influence, so to speak. Well, that's pretty much all I have to talk about with Toss Salad. Overall, it's a game you have to decide if you want to pick it up for yourself or not. It has everything you need in it. I don't know the price point, but I'd say if you can get it for like 20 bucks or less, it'd probably be worth your time, especially if it's a game that you consider. If you like celebrity, if you like guessing word games, you're gonna enjoy Toss Salad. So go ahead and decide for yourself if you're interested in it. In the description below is a link to where you can pick up the game. It is by uh, Games Adults Play. Toss salad, the game, play with your friends, offend your friends, recycle the whole damn thing. Check it out on the link in the description below.